What's up guys this is Ronnie welcome back to tutorial 83 and today I'll be going to talk about some advanced oper advanced operation with json data in the last tutorial I mean the tutorial 82 we have uh, seen how to uh, read one simple json file I mean in the json file we have seen we have only one um, like entry but now we'll see how to uh, how to read parts and get some insight from the uh, complete json file probably in your json file uh, there will be multiple entries but just to like um, establish uh, the course material within the uh, like limited time frame i haven't created the long uh, json file so i am having going to showcase you guys only three or four entries in the json file but i'll give you the complete idea so you guys will be able to understand how to do some sort of uh, like advanced operation or advanced parsing on your json data so this is the objective of this tutorial once this is done so from the next tutorial onward we'll be uh, we'll be going to uh, start uh, uh, developing some uh, code or piece of uh, cipher query uh, so that it will able to um, give you the um, graph from the json data okay so this is a simple json data so in the last tutorial we have only one uh, entry i mean this one so i have three entries now so ds101 102 103 is a kind of exam and every exam has some subjects the subject names are written there so we'll be going to do some sort of advanced operation now so what is the operation uh, these are the prerequisite. I'm not gonna uh, continue this thing and just because uh, I'm using the same pair template So I didn't uh, change anything here. These are the prerequisite. You have to go to your Neo4j browser then you have to um, uh, Click on the settings tab and from the settings tab you have to just copy paste this thing and after that you have to save and restart your database That's it. Okay, it will do so if you are not familiar with this thing Just go ahead and uh, try to watch uh, my tutorial number 79 or 80. I don't remember but it is there in the playlist. Okay, and uh, just uh, one minute so these are the very important step if you don't uh, uh, like if you don't uh, perform this thing then if you run the cipher query even if your cipher query is correct then also it will not give you the uh, result it will throw an error and it will uh, clearly tell you that you have to enable this thing okay so it is kind of self-explanatory so next thing is that this is the use case i actually somehow generate uh, a kind of not generate somehow come up with this use case because i didn't get much uh, response for all of you guys probably you guys are not uh, uh, giving that much attention on json part but um, uh, few of them uh, said but those are really advanced will take some time to uh, cover up all those things but this is a very simple thing but again this is going to be very help helpful if you understand this thing so what i want to do find out the number of subjects per student uh, per exam and subjects should be included in a list so what is going to happen here now so i want to display uh, this name of this exam and there will be another list it should be displayed like this and there should be another uh, column called count and count means the uh, like subject count will be there for for example for ds101 then total three subject for ds102 one two three four subject for ds103 one two three four five subject so i want all this thing in uh, your uh, neo4j browser as well as from the um, python id whatever you are going to do first of all we'll be going to do everything from the plain python uh, sorry plain cipher query with the help of plain cipher query and after that we'll be going to uh, write the cipher query inside your python code okay so without wasting uh, much time i believe i completed the theoretical part so let's start with this thing so first of all let's check if i have anything or not but that is irrelevant but still uh, match and return in so i have uh, deleted everything but just to make sure but it doesn't matter like you can uh, we, are, we are not going to write anything in the uh, neo4j uh, graph uh, like within the database we are just going to read something okay and we'll be going to display everything here okay so nothing will be changed if you have any existing graph that will as well okay so first thing it should be called uh, epoch then load then json and after that i have to give the file name so it should be file then this 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 and it should be users my directory is here actually let me tell you this is my simple json and it is inside the data folder and data inside the ronnie so if i click ronnie i'll get data and here and just because i'm using mac so it should be like this okay data then sample dot json okay then yield okay so let's see whether uh, it is able to read or not so fine if you see i got three map so every element in the json is known as map as per the cipher term so this is one map one this is map two this is map three you can in a layman language you can call it an entry okay so now I'll be going to uh, do the uh, uh, customization. So it should be with uh, value, right? And then it should be uh, 
return uh, let me write uh, value dot name right uh, yes name is there let's see whether it is able to uh, write this or not okay see i got all the names now i need to uh, create one more column with all subjects and subjects should be placed inside a list and there will be one more column with the counts so one by one we'll do so this is done so value dot name let me change this thing as name or maybe exam name uh, i'm just using alias so i'm just going to uh, do it very slowly so that you, do, you guys will be able to understand because um, maybe uh, most of you joined very recently okay so this is exam name exam name so next thing is i need the subject so if you go here our subjects are inside this list and it is like in, 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 in this is actually list and the key key name is subject so what will what is going to happen so it should be value dot subjects as uh subjects so maybe i can write subjects let's uh, run this thing so uh, i think i think i didn't uh, do any mistake so there will be one more column with the name of subjects and everything will be inside a list all the subjects right so this was expected this is what we are actually trying to achieve so next thing i want one count over here and this should uh, print three this should display four and this should display five over here okay so how to do that so let's um, it should be size uh, and let me this thing and maybe number underscore of underscore subjects let's see it on this thing so everything is fine see they see for ds101 we have three uh, subjects i got three for here i got uh, four subjects so uh, uh, i got four just because we have four subject and here i have five so five subjects so now you guys understand this is very simple thing but again if you do not know how to do this probably this will be uh, definitely difficult for you to understand and probably um, uh, when i started learning i didn't find any material for uh, correlating all this simple thing together to uh, uh, get some uh, realistic uh, use cases so that is why i thought of creating this small tutorial and this will actually enable you guys enable all of you guys to do some sort of real uh, like kind of real world scenarios or, or real uh, world problem or actual problem to you can solve actually all real world problem using neo4j like whenever it is applicable or possible to do it you can use app all this thing and trust me guys i'm working in this uh, uh, technology for last um, 18 months and this is actually uh, very much used all these techniques use case whatever i'm covering this is actually widely used and you will uh, be benefited all, uh, with all this thing okay so that's it so that's it from the cipher side so probably i need to copy this thing so now we'll do try to achieve this thing from python okay so use case use case uh, this is the code so let me write this code so code is here actually right so this is the code now what i'll do i'll just uh, try to uh, get the output so that uh, it will be easier for all of you guys to let me close this thing let me close close okay so let me just uh, just just screenshot actually or maybe i don't know if i am able to uh, it's a it's in a table form it's a test form so test is like this so let me just copy this thing right so what will happen after that let me just put this thing over here picture then picture from file uh, let's uh, just down below down below i have so many screenshots i need to remove few okay done so not sure how to place this thing so probably uh, but this is this doesn't look good actually no this doesn't look good so let me uh, I need to minimize this thing within this frame and here as well okay okay so let's see which one is going to be uh, 
good for this thing probably i'm not sure this one this one mm, i think this one looks good yes okay so this looks good so next thing is that everything from the python console okay uh, not python console from python id okay so first of all uh, let me open my jupyter notebook so let me just rename this thing or else i will forget and definitely you guys will start again uh, sending me email that i didn't find the code okay so it should be new 4j so just one more thing just before i um, forget so guys all these codes are available in my github repository if you go to the video description there is a link uh, given for the complete repository you can just uh, clone the repository and start playing around with this okay new 4j tutorial and as well as the ppts so it is tutorial 83 right so next thing is that tutorial 83 some advanced operation so it should be advanced uh, operations with uh, json data uh, json data using uh, epoch using cipher using cipher epoch and python right okay so headline is done done so let me create few cells so cells have been created so first thing first so it should be from neo4j import uh, graph uh, sorry what happened here why okay i'm not printing uh, typing actually uh, capital uh, thing though that is what is not coming so it came see it happens sometime okay done so next thing will be driver equals to graph database dot driver then it should be uri like this then it should be auth uh, like this then like this this it should be neo 4j uh, rambo at the rate one two three four this is my password but again guys uh, this is not the right way of doing this thing just sake of uh, creating the use case i'm doing it but in actual scenario you have to create an environment variable or probably you can create a config file from there actually you should pass your all these things okay uh, uh, let me uh, this bold protocol address uh, sorry bold uh, uri with the bold protocol once this is done so let's create a session object so session is going to be driver so all these things are same actually i'm just <laughs> i'm doing this thing for last uh, one year so probably all of you are familiar with this thing just run this thing no more error so that's why uh, we have um, means no more error uh, uh, not no more error actually uh, we haven't got any error it means it is executed successfully so next thing is that um, we need to uh, uh, create a variable and we have to assign the query over here the cipher query whatever you have written in our new 4j browser so simple thing and just copy paste this thing all right so next thing will be results equals to uh, sorry session dot run and this is going to be q1 okay like this uh, what is happening q1 is not defined because i didn't run this thing so that is why there is no ma number mark so it will be four now four now if i run this thing it will say then then you will write this thing results and we all know we need to use data method see i got everything so this is exam name so this is actually a list and i am getting everything from the list so like this so let me just execute this thing again so for a row in data print row a little bit of python uh, like uh, way of writing this thing so exam is this and subject is this exam because this is actually if you check this thing so data is actually a list and every element inside a list is itself a dictionary so you know how to parse uh, uh, sorry you know how to uh, do uh, list iteration you can definitely using use a list comprehension and other thing or dictionary comprehension but our uh, goal is not that our goal is how to read or do some advanced operation from uh, 
new for so that is why i'm just uh, going to uh, i'm just uh, try to keep everything simple but in actual scenario an actual use case when you are going to tackle with the ha uh, like large enough data or your data set is large enough and you're working for some enterprise or some uh, serious client and their optimization is uh, definitely uh, uh, like first preference or a uh, clean coding is for first preference then you should uh, optimize or adapt all those techniques okay just for the time being uh, this is neo4j cipher and python so that is why i'm just keeping everything simple so now one more thing if you see if you know only python it is not going to help you because you need to understand the cipher query but second thing if you know cipher then also it is not going to help you because uh, you don't have uh, if you don't have the knowledge of python then you will not be able to do the actual analytics or analysis or some uh, strategic driven uh, you cannot uh, create some strategy based decision cause you know you have your cause ultimately what you are going to do with the data some some sort of uh, some decision or some sort of hunting if you are working for cyber security you have to do some sort of threat hunting uh, anomaly detection all this thing and for those thing you have to uh, operate on large number of data so for doing some uh, operation on larger number of data you, you must uh, know either python or r but just because uh, I, I, uh, we are not doing R class here, so that is what I'm saying. You definitely, you can do the same thing using Java, Node.js, uh, JavaScript, PHP. So uh, the functional programming language and the knowledge of Cypher, both are required if you're going to do some sort of like analysis, some application. If you're going to uh, develop some application, some artificial intelligence driven application, definitely you need to uh, have idea, you need to uh, ha, uh, like uh, create some sort of uh, like um, uh, front end, back end, and there also you need some other things as well. So enough of talking guys, I believe you guys are enjoying or uh, getting benefited with the course, but again, still uh, there are a lot of uh, scope, a lot of use cases are pending. I just want to know from your side, what are the use case you want me to cover? So please write me some feedback, some email, or you can directly reach out to me via WhatsApp uh, group that uh, this use case you want me to cover. And and also if you have any uh, any feedback, if you want to give some feedback, or if you want us to improve our quality, please feel free to write me. I'll always try to improve our quality, okay? So that's it, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Goodbye and have a nice day.